Okay, hello to viewers. Um, so I some SMC session here. That's kind of a wild hand on the on the start here. On the bottom left, uh, bottom bottom left. I'm just calling for. The A high blind versus blind against the C, but is decently often a good good hand. And I think I'm just going to check behind here with the same same logic. So if he checks now, Jack is quite a big card. This could easily easily help my hand. So I think we could could turn this hand into bluff. This point. <laughs> you don't have that huge children value. <laughs> so, uh, the hand that I was talking about a moment ago was this one. So, standard open will let me three, but I obviously don't fold. Uh, he checks here, we have. That sort of engine. Backdoor flush draw. Just in no also done value, so I start betting here. We'll then call. Uh, turn doesn't really change it that much, so I get get the double back sort at this point. So, and we also pluck the seven nine for. But however much that that really matters, but I barrel again will then call. It was pretty quick call here, but the interesting thing is that unless he has happens to hit the king, it's kind of a rare rare line to take in my opinion to be check call, check call, check call. Especially after three betting, so <laughs> I didn't really believe he has that big of a hand most of the time, so I decided to ship it here a bit over bot. And I mean, we could still have like any flop set here. We could have like King 10, some two pairs. Have to remember that we let each mean three with pre flops, and I open raised from the bottom, so we can have so many bluff and now in. Well, bluff combos maybe as well, but value combos from the two pairs and such that decided to just shove it. And and also the good thing is we don't have clubs in our hand, so it's more likely we then could have some some hands that he check calls turn as well, and he folded it. Nice outcome, obviously. Nice outcome, obviously, when you have seven high. At the top left, I think we could go either way. The flop. And I think against one opponent, I'm just going to see it on the right and RL turn and give up basically if he comes along, if he doesn't improve. But luckily, he folds. And bottom left, it goes check, check. So it's quite surprising if we don't have the best hand. So let's get roughly half pot. Trying to get some A high, etc. to call. Maybe some small pocket pair or something. And top left, we get the open ender. Uh, <coughs> I won't really take rest that much on that flop in general, so I think I just call. Turn we could actually lead here. 
Holy Lamb does have some some of the NX plus himself, but it's kind of nice if we get some even some air hand painting on it to hold here. And top right going to call the minion bet with the back doors we have. And the king high again could have a tiny bit of showdown value. Yeah, I think we have to call now, and also if the freeware is hard, we can think about prepping that with our blocker. But that's basically the blank river, but yeah. I don't think I will try to bluff at home. Oh, well, my guilt here was no heart at least. <coughs> Trying to rep the heart against the nut flush usually won't be a good outcome. And I mean, it depends on if, if the heart did come on the reverse here and we will have it a bit on the bigger side, then. Then yeah, I probably would be just holding, but I think it was okay plan. But will then just have had kind of one of the worst possibilities to We could raise three bit on the pre flop with the ace nine shooter, but it's not really like drilling hand to face four bit shower. And in general, we are going to tighten will in continuation range, obviously, quite a bit if we three bit, so <coughs> don't, don't really mind. <coughs> don't really mind to think that as you call in line. No seven perhana <coughs> vieka. Let's close the let's close the window. Seems like it might be too cold. Well this guy min bit, so I'm just going to call call the sevens. <coughs> well <coughs> we are probably behind, but who knows? Okay, window closed. Queen check, open race, and okay, tens would have been nice to <coughs> nice to three, but also. And <coughs> yeah, if as as visible, I'm not. I'm pretty much mean raising after first first blind levels in these games. No entities. <coughs> no entities either. So that's also one <coughs> one of the reasons. One of the reasons you don't need to go bigger, really. Uh, just folding this event check. And we actually hit two pairs here. 
I will try to go for check race. Oh, it's no luck here. Uh, just giving up on the bottom left. No, you're probably not helping. Well, um, <coughs> it would not be bad, bad hand to four, but but it's first time I have I see, I see this guy three bedding, so <coughs> I think it's it's kind of a close on the brief. Look, do you want to fold or call or what's the line to take? But yeah, seems like we lost that one. I'm not trying to. Loft here. <coughs> and pocket force, we could actually just open shower. If we hit, hit the set, then it's not enough. Wow. <coughs> Unlucky outcome. Well, I'm not folding top left. And we actually hit the straight, but I think getting value is really hard. So I'm actually going to check call. Try to him give him the chance to bluff me out of some <coughs> some weak holding. And <clears throat> the top left, it's not strong enough to shower, so I try to try to go for the limp limp option. Hmm, 
I think I will go for Lind. Uh, leave it fold on the upper right. <coughs> And bottom left, going to three bit call. Oh, it will land us on shower. We uh, it's quite a full quarter low. Low SPR tokens. Not certain how we should play that one. Well, my plan was to bet here, false to raise. And if he calls Shava, Shava basically most of the turns that he help me somewhat. So, like Ace, King, Queen, Spade, maybe 10. <laughs> but of course the ugly, ugly thing is that, I mean, I'm not totally sure if we should really bet fold to flop, so that's the, that's the nasty part of my plan here, because we are getting a fairly nice price basically at that point. <coughs> so I think we could... We could think about... <coughs> See that calling as well. Uh, tried to link trap on the tried to link trap on the top right, but that didn't didn't give action this time. Uh, A7 just shoving this guy also used 2.5 pp earlier. Unfortunately, had the hand, but he suck out. I think I'm going to bet small on the. Bottom right. The idea is to get some weak hands to hero call or induce <coughs> induce some busted draw the bluff race sometimes. And top left, these guys have been somewhat aggressive, so I'm just going to open Shama with the 160 big blind. And hope no one, no, either of them call. They do, we still have some equity at least with the shoot ace. <coughs> well, top right, there should be decent, decently high chance that we have the best hand, so let's make for small sweep but... And bottom left, we have combo draw, trying to get check race in. I mean, we are basically fine with, I will lay neither folding or holding or shoving. Everything is, is fine. I'm just going to shower here. It's over one SPR. And try to create that fold deck with you. And if not, we still have. Still have over 10 out, basically always. Thank you. I think we'll lay plate plate well here. We just we just happened to suck out um, but on uh, top left I'm going to min race call against the small blind and fold against the big blind. I mean it's pretty thin to call against small blind as well, but probably fine. Probably fine. <coughs> I 
quite fungi looking tree but top right from this guy. I mean, bit over to waxing. Open race. Okay, and aces. Uh, I don't really like. I mean, in the in the bottom shoes. I mean, you can shove, but especially when you have the spade. I mean, the flush draw as well, but. In his shoes, I would just call it here and try to keep the wheel lane ready spider. And bottom left, well, I mean, wheel lane shouldn't really hit that often, not that well, I would imagine, after holding the tree, but so just keep it simple and see, but curse if he raises, so. I mean, we can check the flop and then mainly call against the most sizing is <coughs> and see what, what comes on the turn. That would be the alternative. Alternative line. Well, bottom right, we could open Shao. And let's go to three Shao usually, so. If I assume that ace here, I would be shoving, but not with weak of suit one. And top left, obviously, we are calling against anyone or shoving. And well, bottom left, kind of interesting one. I think I will start betting it here. In a way that we have some showdown value with the king high, so it wouldn't be that bad necessarily to just. We'll just check either and top right, just trying to check the showdown. <laughs> and outside stable, we have two overcards, double guts of length within second time and unfortunately we don't get anything just showing the shooter ace and face shot with our king high uh, and maybe we could complete on the seven nine that would have been would have been actually good Option. I mean, big blind is not really going to show expecting this kind of fold at least. So, <coughs> and bubble on the top right. We are the smallest stack. So, and bottom right, raising with his blogger, hoping. Not phase 3, but at least. And not such a nice flop. I think we could use this AX as C bet fold. And line 3 betting extremely small, but I don't know, it's. It kind of doesn't usually. 3 bet that much, so. Looks, looks possibly a bit suspicious. And one of the issues with those type of hands of shoot, of shoot ones tends to be that well, he had to do 
Kelly made small values less. Was X embed upper right obviously calling? Do we wait the eight? Oh well. Oh well, that's always always as lame. And we get called on the upper left and bottom right. We have to call dominating, hopefully holding that one. Nice and AC stop left. Okay. Nice hand, nice hand. Uh, bottom right, we could be showing almost any two, but I'm actually going to raise more. As I would do with some of the premium hands, and I don't mind race folding. Absolutely crappiest possible combos. <coughs> oh well, running into aces and moving with the dominating hand. On two different bubbles, not a nice thing. Well, race again small. Hold. Oh. Well, we hit the strike. We're late checking, so we pretty much have the bet here. Or the bet on the top tat peak here. I mean, if he's house, I don't like it, but I would be calling. Well, we could bet on the top left with the idea to parallel on the... Or parallel most of the time, actually hoping he has some sort of pocket pair, which is often going to fold here if he does. He has the ace and he probably doesn't fold, but... Okay. Well, lucky late wasn't diamond and diamond. That would have been total disaster. And we land was bluffing, but... Unfortunately, sucked it out. And going pretty, pretty wide bottom right, as we have absolutely awesome stack situation for it. That's why we could go close to any two, I believe. Well, I think in nine we still have to call. Well, unfortunately, he had better one. And just check raising. We could have actually called also. Don't really mind either way. Stay flogging flop on the top left and bottom right, shunning the sugar king. Well, we get the king. Nice. And raising the 3 7, and I'm going to just see if it's not the greatest flop, but. but we don't mind hugely even if this happens. Well, King 8, easily plus EV show. And Zach 6, I think, is probably outside of the... It's like 7 big blind in the nest, so... Of we can... Still fold. And 
and we just evade the ace and we win the flip or win the, win the head up here. Leading out really. That's a decent drawing, just can't get, can't get anything out of it. So if he checks, I would probably have solved it here, but yeah, I suppose we have to fold 10. So many cards that could have improved our hand too. Well, do we get accent tracks? Limper. Actually, have a good this time. And we raise. Not the greatest flop, so. Kind of a weird to be dunk betting Queen 5 2's rainbow, but. It just says that the will then is most likely recreate no player, and we can't really value it here. Especially with the ace coming. If it was blank, I would bet, but probably can't on that one. Probably can't on that one, so. Well, top left was absurdly passive by the villain. I mean, not betting turn or river with the king queen. That's pretty. That's pretty absurd. I'm going to three bet fold on the bottom left against the UTC. If the big blind shot we have called, so. And standard ISO race with the ace 10. Get two callers, so and pretty draw with flop. Now we have actually have double guard, so with our. I think I get two, two points, I would have just checked here, but. I think we kind of have to call against that pricing. But again, don't improve. Uh, just check the showdown, maybe we are good. We are. But I'm right raising with the 5 7. So today people have not really been limp folding so far. With a bit pair, I'm going to check back here. And if he bets, I'm going to call, but if he doesn't, I would make make small bets. Facing check raise at this point tends to be but a lot more rare situation. So we saw that hand, for example, just calling. <coughs> and being out of position, I will go a bit bigger with the 175 or 200 usually with the 50 big blind. Of course, hoping that he calls again. Well, I would think that it's not that likely that he hits here, but it's also pretty troll. Is still. So let's back that bit on the bigger side. And Possible that his limp call range might hit, might hit here. So 
I'm kind of creating situation where I can can go for the turn shot if I want. Not to not make three streets play. And well, as check we have the easy valley rest his time, and he actually folds. Well, bottom left, I would would be open shoving to it. Maybe not the weakest. I would would go with as default. And H2, so I think we have to call the toe spot or 7 5 shooter kind of close, I would think. Let's go with it. Tower stack depth, it should be quite close. Nice turn. Nice flop and turn. And let's raise the king jack top left. Uh, oh wow. Well, we have to call it those bottles, I suppose. Pocket we'll sevens. I don't really like any button that much. We are a bit deep to be shoving, I think, also, we are deeper against that guy. Calling is kind of a bit of a meh because we are going to be check folding 10. Such a huge, huge portion of time. Or if we check call the flop without hitting the set, we are going to be in general, general in tough situations. The bottom right, the five pairing is not really that good of a thing. I will just check back and let's see if we improve. King six call. Wow. Seems to be a loose caller. Well, outside table we have top set on rainbow flop, so I'm actually going for check back. And for the sixes, we have to call great situation. No attack, so C button and no action. Well, that wasn't our, our spot. And pocket trees is too weak to be inducing. But decided to try the race anyway. And even though we are second stack, I'm going to treat that the pocket tennis and call against the shell, obviously. Flip it, flip it, flip. Behold, that was that was big thing. Uh, <coughs> not such a great flop, I would probably check behind here. In here I uh, just called against the button open as I didn't really want to. Well, I asking we are calling deuces. Oh, oh, this guy is not going to be bluffing me, often enough at least. So I just called here because I didn't want to be three, but folding or three, but calling that much with, with the stack that we had. Uh, I think I'm going to bet here again with the decently good queen and going to check river. I mean, it's link spot, so I think we have the best hamster relatively often.
and ace queen i think i'm just going to check behind and hit the straight also land action now we just hope that we land doesn't happen to have the hook fast that was total disaster spear shove from on the upper right and totally absurd shove 10 6 off well some people like to spear when they when they lost called tilting i suppose what on the left do we want to bet i think we probably do with the cutter Just going to shout that one. And I suppose we are giving up on the bottom left. So top right. I would have bet small on myself, but we'll land is betting, so. And we could bet really small here. <coughs> Uh, just calling the shooter to ace, we are pretty deep stacked over 30 big blind. Would be calling, but he calls pretty big tier, so I think we can just hold right away. Well, bottom right, it's really unlikely small blind especially has 3x, so my plan would have been the triple barrel now will land is actually dunk bidding for some reason that's going to be giving up tier but let's just call and make him if he happens to have some weird bolt on the flop or whatever uh, i think i'm still shelling the ace queen doesn't matter that much i suppose it was total airball yeah. Still just bet folded. <coughs> ah, limp calling bottom left. And not ideal to be sitting out here as now the bottom is going to shove it a lot of time. Well, I'm going to bet bottom left as the lane is checking. Now this guy came back, he was sitting out. Tiny amount of a goal. Uh, nasty turn, but I think we have to call still. And yeah, he probably shouts the river. Do we call? I mean, this guy is definitely capable of having bluffs here, I think, and we are be close to our top of our range basically and the price is not too bad yeah kind of questionable bluff so as he had still the seven so it's even better for me to call if if he turns even third prayer into bluff Uh, well, this guy has been quite doing quite a lot of limp calling, so I think I'm just going to check the 4 or 5 and not go for like a light race. On the bottom right, we could sometimes step the river. Of course, we don't have that much AX, but. You could also possibly try the value with some weaker stuff. And nasty collision here outside the table. Ace king versus queens. Well, just going to three bet the ace king. 
and to another three bit. Or do we want three bits? I mean, I have been really passive so far. Well, I don't really mind it, but it's kind of nasty if he. I mean, if he four bits, we have to fold with him as well. The point is that this hand is is quite nice. Nice hand overall, so you don't really want to be. Don't really want to be. Keep it folding that much, I suppose. Uh, what happened here? Bet the turn. I suppose we are just taking back our full house. Well, that's enough. Let's call in top left. We hit the flush. And just fold into triple barrel. H2, so I would be shunning. This guy has also been, been raising all the time, so. And top left, I'm just going to be check calling. I mean, if I shove here, I'm not even that sure if we are making profit. If the villain call, and that's the worst possible revert here is. Oh man. Well, luckily he was bluffing, so. <coughs> but yeah, if he bet the river, we would have to fold. He could have full house, he could have. Well, let's go this time for the race. Fold it at least now. And ace eight, I think I would show also. Well, we are ahead, just evade the few altars. Uh, well, that guy has been quite quite silent so far, so don't betting. We don't have the cut suit. If I had cut suit with the backdoor flush draw, I would probably have gone for race against his bit here. Bottom left was kind of a marginal set mining. This didn't go my way this time. Bottom right, we could really go. Right away, let's go for check race and we are going to shove or continue betting, I suppose. Don't need to necessarily show or well, let's just show and speed that bad. And beat that bad. Well, snap calling. Jeez. Well, this is our lucky. I mean, it's it's a it's a hand he could be stacking off in reasonable way, but making it by dunk shoving. Dunk shoving is the worst way, I suppose. Because what weaker hands am I going to be? Basically, he's not doing going, going to be do going to do that well against my calling range, and he shuts down any possibility for me to put anything in without having at least decent mate hand or monster draw, which is of course quite quite bad thing when you have media for top pair, at least in my books, but maybe not in village book. And top left, uh, I think we put also limp. Was folding at that point. Limpity limpity, well, let's complete him. And I suppose we could be weeding here or check calling. But mine is pretty blank and DP can definitely have obviously some straight draws, so I've got a barrel here. 
<coughs> of course, the downside is that he can also have any two pair basically. Uh, raising the 6 8 against the new, new mid stack, putting some pressure on. And 7 5 is not strong enough to shovel, but we could wimp and mix in some traps some portion of time. Not going my way here. Uh, King 9 shooter, I think I'm just going to ship it. Also, because it's pretty close one if I'm in race and this whole short stack shows that. So, we call our fold and pocket force without having any reach. I'm just folding against three bits and shoving the king seven. We are going to make out a profit by that show. Doesn't matter what the will lane calls with. What sort of range that is? Hmm. Unfortunately, not hitting anything. Seems like he was actually thinking of folding the ace deuce, which is not really option in my books here. As he is the clear, clearly the smallest stack also, and less than like it was roughly ten big blind deep. Well, it's king three bit time. Uh, king ten. And Will Lane has been quite tight, I believe, so. Just fold ten. And shoot at ace, I'm going to show if it was ace 5 or 5, just in the race forward. Maybe some like ace 9 or 4, ace 8 or something, something around that. And 7 5, we would actually link behind, hope no one races. And call pocket 3, so I think something like pocket 8 or 9 would be the. Probably pocket 8, I would call, but anything weaker than that would have been great spot. Well, if I call, big blind is probably not calling anyway. Kind of unlucky, unlucky for me here that they both had a check because, I mean, either of them winning in that spot would have been pretty much guaranteed money for me, but a check I have to call. Don't put the 9 now. Well, we split spots. <laughs> well, at least we didn't lose. But that was that was quite ugly. Quite ugly to get split spot here, but at least we didn't lose it. So Uh, it's eventually the really marginal one. I don't really like folding or calling. Uh, well, let's call. And again, we get split spots by dominating age. Great. Great. I think King Eight we could have sound, but I don't go lose first. That's mean race. We haven't been doing much mean raising, and we face sharp right away. Fortunately, we don't have the food. Let's 
by the lead on the bottom right. Six seven does complete, but not much otherwise, so let's continue bidding. Well I'm gonna take take that seven shooter spot and take image of it so I can check it later. At five six shooters we can actually Wind call, I believe. And egg ten would be some. And two times splitting the better ace. Quite unlucky here. Now well, that's one, one small tree, but uh, this guy shoves once again. I think this is pretty close in the mesh. Oh. Come on, Jesus. Then we dominate and we lose. Yeah. Seems just like my luck. My sort of luck. <laughs> Two times. I mean, the dominating ace and splitting, and then we actually dominate and we lose that one. Yep, yep. <laughs> Pretty absurd. What was the chance for that, I wonder? Oh well. Well, we turn the flush, flush draw. Oh, well. We want to raise, we are prepping quite team time. But I don't think calling is going to make that much profit, so maybe we could get some some hands to fold, but well, he has the trip, so Uh, it's a bit dangerous, but in a way, on the upper right, that even if the short stack shot here, we are not, not going to be that happy about it. Oh man, three hands in the bubble and we were good in every one of them and not winning a single one. Pretty, pretty lame, I would say. Hmm. 
I was thinking about just shoving the ace minor. Probably be a fine option. <clears throat> and almost went for three, only three bit top left, but it was three X open, and I believe. I believe this guy has been somewhat fizzy looking, so for the equities probably not as good as I would prefer. Uh, I'll just jump the turn. Four four four. Oh, well, it basically should never get raised here. Now we have to not try to check behind here and hit the river. And we are going to race here, but this is not going to not going to get us any value, most likely. His king doesn't three but three loop. Well. That's that's definition of passive passiveness. I'm going to raise that one. I want to play against him because it's going to be raising my link really often. And stop left. I think I go for three bit call. It won't be won't be thrilling if he shoves, but as overall overall possibilities, we are getting faulty good good amount of time and so on. It's fine. And bottom left, hopefully he doesn't shove. Well, three X is not that great either, but. Suppose we are calling and calling flop and calling turn, hoping for the best. But he doesn't bet, so I'm going to stick behind. And I suppose we are checking it to showdown. Well, nice guy for not showing that hand would be should be absolutely easy show, but Oh, this one bottom right. If this guy raises more, I'm just going to be calling, calling the trap. And so calling bottom left, and I think I, oh, we could go either way, but. I'm just shoving here, of course not the greatest turn with the plus draw completing, but wow. Well it's easy as what luck looks is. Let's hit the two outer eyes. Well, he probably would have stacked off if I sound pretty good anyway. Shit. Oh well. Oh well. Nice hand.
combo draw, bottom left, well, fine, if the rule in check, we can forget, I'm going to show. So many out, ooh, and we hit, nice. Well, top left is pretty bad flop in general, against the small blind. And that itself is kind of a fine for C, but I think I'm going still for the C, but it's not going to be that great option. But lucky we get, we get through. And top right, we should have the best hand pretty much always. And I'm actually thinking about Three but folding against this guy. Bottom right. Oh, he doesn't fold so pretty safe looking flopped so unless he was slow playing trapping pre-flop. Oh let's go for one third C bit. And he calls. Oh, maybe he has something to him. Well, we have the full practical nuts on the top left. And definitely going to bet the river. He would with quite a lot of air. Decent, decent amount of air, I suppose. Well, this time we have a stack of hand. And fucking queens again. It's paid out, out as well. Luckily we win that one. Bottom left trying to link trap with the ace queen. Fairly aggressive guy. Well, do we hold? Nice. And King's bottom left don't fold. Ah. Illegal, illegal move here. I mean, most of the time we are, we are going to be happy about that. But I don't mean three betting and not folding. And bottom left we have double gut so and the A high for some soda value. But no help at all. Yeah, we have a fold if he did. Okay. Well, top pair and flush draw. Um, just going to call it here. Also, he bots, which looks a bit scary. Of course, we can't fold that hand at all. I'm fairly happy if we get to just show down without improving. And bottom left link pot king high back draw flush draw but that's obviously calling and I'm going to call again, especially against that sizing. And I mean wonder if dunk bidding would make sense. I mean, if he has queen x or ace, he would be a bit bent, but probably, but it's that sort of hand. But the question is, do we get value out of it anyway if we bet ourselves? So, and if he check, we can still try to go for check raise if he bets. The problem is that if he has, like, like let's say, a media for queen and I don't bet, he might just be calling, but if he hits himself and we check race, we might get a lot more out of the so... But at the same time, when he just win bits the turn, that probably discounts some of the... That probably discounts some of the... Some of the... 
three necks in general. I went for stamp on the top right as people didn't seem to be interested. Interested about the pot, so I'm happy to happy to take it if they don't want. And calling top left, we are beating all the plots, and that's that's pretty much as blank as the river can be. But lucky for us, he doesn't bet for some reason. I have to love those lines. Because my, my range is going to be checking back a huge portion of time in that situation. So in my books, those, even those like weak, weak kicker top pair hands probably shouldn't be. Probably shouldn't be. Uh, checking. I was actually thinking about check raising, but when he goes bot size, suppose we just call. And I'm going to barrel, barrel the bottom left on pretty scary card. Of course, if he has the plus 10, it's going to fail in a major way. And in bottom left, I'm going to try to go for check raise and behold top left. And if he has seven, he people are always betting that pretty much. And if he has counterfeit with six, he might bluff. If he has plastic draw, he might be bluffing and I'm just gonna be shoving here and hope he has seven X and holds it down. So that's basically the main hope I could get value from anyway. But he had unfortunately same hand. Same hand. And outer table went for link three, but with the Hooded King. And we get the fold nice. Kings three. Oh, a judge. Um, oh, it's a bit. It's not so appealing option with 20 big blinds necessarily, but I mean, as far as it's definitely fine, but and if the little lane is calling too many AX and so on, this guy 3Xing and just folding. Well, seems like we are getting some major action on top left. Well, straight. Well, luckily we split on the upper right with those hands. It should be pretty high, high chance anyway. It's having such a low, low kicker as both of us. And we have check raising the nuts on the bottom left. And we are going to barrel the turn and shove basically any river. But unfortunately, unfortunately, the lane is leaving the arena. Arena, how it's pronounced, or something like that. And just check back here on the bottom right to three way pot and queen 10. Hitting fairly nicely, 6 5, I'm showing that stack that. Hold, oh, it was nice play. That was nice play by the middle lane. But I don't mind my shovel either. 7 10. The marginal in mess, so let's try to win. And Ace Jack raise calling. And outside the table we are forbidding the min tree better and stacking off if he wants. And hoping we are not crossed. And ace 10 we have to call. Oh well. Once again. 
What's going our way? Well, this guy is thinking long at least. That's how you pre race with the sensible sizing. Not mean tree bedding. Well, let's mean bed bottom left. Trying to get some queen, ja queen jack high and shots to fold. But like we learned about slow playing or something. This is one weird drop, but let's race, let's see. Does he continue? Oh, well, maybe he has trips then. I mean, it's extremely rare that people are going to be dog bidding. Dog bidding trips here, so. Now we had sort of value hand on the bottom left, but no action. Uh, we could go either way with the 85, I think. As wise it would be shown. In 10 showing. And King A3 would, would go for the mean race fold. And I'm going to barrel here. So we are probably not getting King X at least to fold. Maybe not even weaker, so. Would be kind of okay hands to bluff, but I don't know. Well, let's go for maybe questionable bluff. Good thing is that we don't block either, either of the fast draws, but he goes down. He sees holding this time. Yeah, might have been a bit spewy. But yeah, I will have some of the AX obviously here. I would be would be very willing to send any better. Any better red trees, I think we are shoving. And queens, really nice queens, but But A showing mandatory show basically. And upper right, decent flop in a way that the lane pretty rarely has the AX here. And A5, if he solves, I'm not gonna like it. We 9 in the nest would be. Actually, pretty marginal one, but I think we can just fold. Oh well, I'm just folding the crappy, crappy AX. It's marginal at best, pretty much. And definitely see the bottom right, top right, we are going to call. Top left shoving. Well, I think we are calling once more. We have the decent diamond here, but we're folding the river. Kind of rare that he would be still bluffing. Well, King 3, I think we could go. Let's go for the show. I think it's it's going to be fine, but quite marginal one. And A6, I'm just running for them right. And limping, we can call against normal race and try to check back the flop and turn. He bets I'm going to call. And no help once again. 
Oh well. Uh, let's try to team play possibly on the upper left and going to see but top right we are going to give up so we can still have lots better bluff candidates here not the big blind still folded it is too big blind and well queen 10 we could have also lint, lint called and just trying to maximize the chance for the small blinds to drop out by checking and like if he bets the river we are just not folding it here He shouldn't, shouldn't ever basically bluff and got lucky tier top left. And I'm actually going to check Grace, but he doesn't bet, so I'm betting myself 10. And King 7 should that bit kind of a do we want to just shove or do we want to just shove or limp? But if we limp, I would probably call against the shove as it's shooted king seven. I mean, I'm not that thrilled about it, but I think it's just a bit too strong to be being folded. Flip, but we lose. And we'll learn shoving queen nine is one of those one of those borderline hands you can go either way on this turn so and we actually have combo draw on the top right and I'm going to bet small on the river could sometimes induce some raising also and we get Better chance that he calls down. I mean, Ace 9 is not going to be happy about that. That river, I would imagine. But we still got the call, but if we call like 60 70 versions of the pot, I don't know if the Ace 9 is calling anymore. But we can also kind of block bet here if we have like the second pair. We are not really that happy about that river either. If we have that hand. Ooh, and we had some out here. That's one of them. The lead call the A7. Once again, a flip. Just can't hit. Well, what can you do? Need the nine block. Mm. 
I'm looking for is a bit, probably a bit too weak. It was sure that I would call against the small blind show. Um, total trash. And yeah, for the right, we are now calling this the small client. We get shown. You don't. Not really that unhappy about it. It's pretty marks now calling him. Yeah, well, we have to shout this one basically, hoping that we don't get caught. And pocket trees. I think I will mean race. We are somewhat deeper against these guys. Well, Ace 10 obviously is not calling great flop. No mine, no mine on the turn either. So he was drawing dead on the turn. King Queen, we can link, we can in race, but we are not folding to Shama. <coughs> Once again, kind of a questionable looking line. Seven is kind of a. Uh, yeah, I just fold. <coughs> Might still be bluffing too, but. But we might be drawing it easily as well. And once again, combo draw on the top right, bottom left, just go for the shower. Once again, dog bedding. Seems to be one of those guys. Don't bet, don't bet, don't bet. And we even have the straight flush draw on the upright. And I'm going to value bet bottom right. Oh well, because we are calling the flush with these odds. Not such thrilling situation, so. Well, I'm just going to raise this one. Porsche can also get hit nasty quite easily. We don't really want to see five, six, eight, seven, ten check. We you know, quite a lot of quite a lot of cards. Well it seems like the action is dying somewhat, so I suppose we are just ending the session to tease. I think we are on the profit side. Like 55 euros or so. We can go either way here, but this is basically the only draw we want to be stacking off. So, uh, well, maybe I don't have such a charge. Kind of a, kind of a too small stack to be raising small, I suppose. <coughs> no dog pets, well. Maybe it means that she's folding. That's that's the cool thing about to note, of course, that if the villain is doing a lot of dog bedding, then chances that they are just folding against the 
See, but when they don't dunk, that tends to be increase quite a bit. Or, well, outer vent evil chair and just dunk with him with a lot of air. Basically. Oh well. Ace is. Uh, that's the outcome for, for me. Wrong guy winning with the dominated hand. He calls. No, let's just take the free river. Plus, plus does complete. So. Not he bet, so I'm not doing anything. Linkfold, Linkfold seems to be Linkfolding quite a lot. <coughs> and usually I would just check behind here, but let's go with the assumption that he might be folding a lot when he check. Don't do bits now, of course he does. Oh well, annoying, annoying hits all the time, or not hitting anything. And going for non all in on the bottom left. Well, he actually shot that sort of mistake, but well, nice flop. Well, basically, set up on the bottom right or right or bottom of bottom of or up, I suppose, at this point. Well, let's go for non all in again. It's shallow to be mean raising in a way that it wouldn't raise too much suspicion for the play. So this guy's probably somewhat busy if I remember right, so maybe we could have mean raised too. Yeah, pot sweeping here doesn't really make too much sense. And my shoving hand, as long as we don't get cold. And now we actually cover the small blind, so there's no need to make none all in anymore. Nice walk. I mean, small blind should be playing pretty much any two here. And queen eight, I would be shoving again, kind of same story, then the check nine. Nice hand as long as we don't get caught. And pocket tens, we could actually induce, I believe.
we get forge again that would be pretty awesome Oh well, it, ooh, nice. Oh, snap shove, snap call hands. Nothing else to do here. Well, I wasn't planning to call the tree, but, but I suppose against that sizing, we are calling and the bluff here. But yeah, we were totally alive here, so basically he made made our decision definitely plus EV here. Turn the two pair. Would have been nice if he had bet himself. So we could trace. Just calling and trying to go for check trace with these shallow stacks, but again, he doesn't bet. So I'm going to go for. It obviously as default. If you have a read that will end, for example, delayed C bedding a lot, then it can make a lot of sense to do something else. Check again. Hitting but absolutely no action. No queen or check. Thank you. <coughs> so we got at least something back here. Well, I mean, really decent. How did I actually forgot to put my things like I did? Well, Starting time and starting stack, but starting stack I can see it here. But we made almost 200. And I can actually check the recording time when I did I start the session. I think this was quite a short one, but I think for the recording purposes it, it can be kind of an okay length. Not be too long as YouTube YouTube video. But yeah, um, we are I'm going to check the going to check those. I think we had at least one hand. Yeah, it was this A7 shooter. A7 shooter which I marked marked. It's kind of a what, whatever the word is in English for those, but it to make it in Finnish. So we have the button shoving, small blind folding, but let's put his stack here, and we have 3300, so 241. <coughs> 120 and 25 big blind. So here we have the manual input. So what does the FGS range say? Okay, so this looks kind of a bad for my call. 24 four person shove. If he's shoving top range, it's only, it's only going to be a 10. 
<coughs> suited plus, so we are not likely not getting plus EV from this. But in general, I would be discounting and definitely be inducing with with those top hands, so I would be discounting those quite often. Now I don't know, maybe he sounds any suited ace is definitely shout his smaller pocket pairs. We can discount tens as well. Those might be shams. So let's see like that. Get speeds better. Even 10 is 8 so that would be like break even. So I would say that we made made a bad call here, but but, but I think he had like a dual shooter and we split was the actual result here. But yeah, it seems like our call was was a bit too probably a bit too wide overall. But I mean like ace nine shooters definitely call ace eight shooters probably okay call as we saw well break even with those assumptions, but at least ace nine would have been which have been called, so this was the sort of short session which we made pretty nice profit. So if you have any comments about the lines I took or any feedback otherwise, please feel free to give those, but bye for now.